Hey, it's Clay Trader, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol FNMA. We will take a look at the 30-minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like several days worth of time, it's actually just today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I've done this analysis quite a few times. I did it on Friday, so that's where these red and green lines are coming from. And want to get things updated here as once again, the, the Bulls had a good day, good start to the week. So we'll see if they can continue to build upon this or not. First thing I want to do though is a little house cleaning, just get rid of that green line down there. Sure, it still pertains to the chart, but from a presentation standpoint and not wanting to have you know a million lines everywhere that can cause clutter and confusion, just want to try to keep this as clean as possible. In regards to updates, first update comes uh, from a, a foundational principle in charting, which states when levels of resistance are broken and closed above, you want to see them act as support. So for those of you that did watch the video from Friday, hopefully remember me talking about 440 as resistance, and you can see the price gapped up above it. And then this morning acted as support. So again, a, a classic example of resistance now acting as support. And then right here, you can see the price is you know, flirting right around that area. So uh, the, the question really becomes is can the bulls continue to hold above and you know maintain this as support? Um, or not if they can't by no means is that the end of the world or that does that imply that the charts totally ruined or anything uh, Preferably speaking if the price can hold above 440 that would be best case scenario But if it doesn't would not be shocking at all to see the price head down to this 430 mark and at least kind of you know Back test and you know potentially do some consolidating around there uh, But as it stands right now right around that 440 zone is doing a good job of holding that support So we'll see if that can continue on going forward or not. What about levels of resistance? I assume I'm stating the obvious for those of you that watch level twos all day, but right up there at $4 and not 50 cents, but $4 and 49 cents. Uh, multiple times, you can see the, the bulls try to push up through there and just couldn't quite do it. So there are some sellers that are undercutting 450. So 449 is gonna be that initial area of resistance. If the price can push through there, then next key level of resistance right up there around the $4.63 mark. So all in all though, uh, a good start to the week. And you know, even if the price does pull back a little bit more, not the end of the world, as long as the price keeps on putting these higher lows over time, like it's been doing, that is the name of the game. One of the most popular questions I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together this free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, and by all means, click right there to get access to the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point. And like I say, it is free. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.